What's up guys, it's Neonate with another Settlers of Catan gameplay. Looks like I'm in the third position with blue going first, so let's take a look at the board. First thing I look at is the ore situation. Looks like the six and eight are big ore producers. Um, so I think we're all going to be clustered around those. Uh, you know, the 3810, 348 going to that ore port, 4611, you know, 5612, 5611. So I think two or three of us are going to be able to get on those spots. Someone may jump onto the 4 8. Let's take a look at the wheat situation. Kind of clustered around this 5 9 10 and this 4. So I think that's going to be a difference maker. Uh, who of the ore players can also have good wheat or who can get to the ore port? I can see the sheep is very, very poor, actually. Wow. So blue goes for the 3, three eight, 10. Orange just goes immediately for the 4 8 ore port. So that's very interesting. That leaves me with some options. I'm not going to be able to cut out white from getting ore. I can go the 4 6 11, or I can go 3 6 11, or 5 6 12. Um, and then I can get wheat over here. I either have to take this wheat, or I have to take these wheats, or I can take the 4 9 11. That might be a good choice. That gives me a lot of different, um, a lot of different uh, possibilities. I do like that, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the 4 6 11. That's worth 10 points. I'm going to head towards the coast, head towards that port. And I'm going to try to take the 4 9 11. May take this five nine ten. So white takes the five six twelve. That's worth ten points. He takes the four nine eleven. So he has all resources, low sheep. So he's at nineteen points. Now my question is do I go five nine ten, try to cut him off? I might do that. Or I might just head over to the wood. I guess I can go three, four, six. Also, that's a perfect. That's a reasonable spot as well. So I've got some options here. I've got five, nine, ten, three, four, six. Which one do I like better? Uh, the wheat port doesn't really help me going down here. I think I might like this 5, 9, 10. This is worth 11 points. I think I might do that. Where's blue and um, where's orange and blue going to play? I mean, I think 3, 4, 6 is great for orange, which might be a reason why I might want to take it. Blue it would also like that spot as well. Um, So what's my play? I'm going to go 3, 4, 6. My thinking there is I'm okay with letting orange or blue go the 5, 9, 10 and not have access to sheep. I'm actually cornering the sheep market. That's sort of my hidden thought. I've got the 3 and the 11, which are the best sheep producing spots, blocking other people from getting that. This is a rare board where sheep is going to be an important resource. And I think that's, you know, I'm almost indifferent between the 5, 9, 10 and the 3, 4, 6. This is only worth 10 points. This was worth 11. I just kind of like other people not having access to sheep. So that's what I'm going to do. Blue stuck with taking this other sheep. I sorry, this this other wheat spot. So he's in a tough position, but he'll probably trade wheat to anybody. So I think part of this will depend on what rolls more, sixes or eights. Sixes will be good for me and me and white. Eight will be good for blue and orange. 
so I think it's going to quickly develop into a two on two. Orange rolls the first seven. I guess it's going to start and start on that six or, and it's going to go back and forth between the two. In terms of long-term strategy, I guess I have a shot at, oh my gosh, so she goes after my brick. That's interesting. I know she already has a rope, so I'm curious why she stole from me. So Blue, in some trouble, because he doesn't have any sheep. He's missing three of the, he only has two resources. So he's gonna want sheep in order to uh, get development cards. He's gonna have a tough time getting to a port. Let's take a look at white. He has all the resources, so probably, you know, with low sheep, he can probably go road and connect his two settlements as well. So I think he is a threat to take road and to win. Let's take a look at orange. Orange is missing sheep. She does have the ore port. So she can be a little bit of a double threat. And she's at 11 plus eight. So she's at 19. White is at nine plus, so white was at 19. So I think white and orange are, are kind of threats. They're both probably going road. I'm the one who can go army. So I think I'm alone there. Maybe blue will go for army because that's, he can't go for road and you might do four for ones for that sheep. So I have to keep my eye out on blue. This is really going to be a case of who can upgrade and, and dominate. You know, because if a bunch of eights roll, there's just nothing you're going to be able to, we're going to be able to do about it. So I'm army, I think. Though I, you know, I'm a double threat, but I'm probably army. Oh, okay. So my roll, I roll a nine. Doesn't help me. I haven't gotten cards in a while. The other bad thing about my positions are I've doubled up on the four and the six. So it's going to be a feast or famine situation where I get a bunch of cards or no cards. And that uh, makes you more prone to rolling out, rolling a seven and losing your cards. So that's not great. You know, the positive thing is I've got all the resources. And I've sort of monopolied this sheep though now everyone's upgrading white has a port so you know, he, can, he can convert whenever he wants so i might block this brick make it tough for uh... just block both white and orange he jumped out to a lead i need some wheats to roll Gosh, now I have nine cards. Oh my goodness. Eights roll. I need a four. Let's see if uh, anybody would anybody would trade any of these anyone for any one. Really? He wouldn't trade a wheat for a... He wouldn't do that? Okay, fine. So I probably just need to up... I just need to change these. Try to get another wheat. And when you're behind, you kind of just want to upgrade because you're not fearful that other people will steal from you. Oh, there it goes. So white is at four points. Surprised he didn't upgrade his ore, actually. I'm in a dangerous spot with eight cards. Nine gives people a fair amount of wheat. I need to upgrade that four, six, eleven for sure. Hopefully I can trade with someone. I 
I'm currently the new with only two points. Orange trades in Oh, terrible. Okay, so let me try to get lucky here. I'm gonna try to pick up one of these wheats from from um From I did get lucky. So upgrade that guy. So at least I'm sort of on even footing. Good. There, there comes the four. Eight rolls, giving blue and orange ore. Six rolls, giving ore to white and I, and also giving me brick. So my next spot is probably going to go for this three one up here. I think I prefer that to the to the sheep port, you know, so then I can convert brick. Orange upgrades. Eight rolls. I'm wondering if I should trade, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't want to be. I don't want to look like I'm tied with white. I'd rather just play a developing move. Seven is rolled. Let's see who White goes after. It goes after. Okay. Orange and blue. That eight does look very, uh, very tough. Trades in his wood. Using a three for one. Upgrades. Ugh, making our six a target. He's at five points. Ugh, great. Now he's probably going to block that six and take from me, which I don't like. And he's going to get something he already has a lot of, four and wheat. Okay, interesting. He blocks the four. Perplexing. Takes one of my ores. I guess I'm okay with that. So, once again, I'm behind. So, once again, I want to just upgrade to try to catch up. Eights are rolled. Yeah, Monopoly sure would be a nice card to get. Nobody has development cards right now. Let's say I need that. She's offering ore. She does have the ore port. So nobody's buying development cards because not much. She, she trades for two bricks. Wow. Where is she going to go? Get towards that sheep, okay. So she could go for road. Seven. Oh man, that's unfortunate. White has no cards. I guess one key to stopping white is blocking his sheep. I mean his wheat, so I might do that. I'm I probably should have done that in the beginning. Four rolls giving me wheat and wood. Blue. He can do. He's got to trade four for one for everything. So he had to trade four wheats for a brick. Another four rolls, giving me ten cards. Oh, wouldn't mind some threes, elevens, and sixes. Orange looking for brick. I don't have that. No sixes have come up recently. Looking for sheep, trades for a brick. Probably wanting to expand here. I don't. I guess that'll give her a little bit of sheep. 
I'm still far behind at three points, basically last. I want that six. So here comes an ore. Let's see if I can trade somebody for a wood. Let's see if somebody would do that. Maybe blue is what I'm hoping. And so then I will have, really there's no, nobody has brick, I'm pretty sure, and nobody has sheep. So yeah. I'll keep those weeds. See what happens. Nine rolls. White is probably really wanting some wheat right now. We've essentially stuffed him. Well, okay, now he gets the five, so he's going to be able to build some roads. He's probably eyeing his three six eleven as a good intermediary spot to connecting and taking longest road. So white is a real danger. Both blue and orange are realizing they need sheep in order to get largest army, blue traded a bunch of ores for brick. So it's really tough to win even with with missing two resources, but missing three resources, my gosh, that is virtually impossible. And even if he gets here, he's not at a port. You know, if I were blue, I might actually head for the 3-1 port first to at least allow me to trade three for one instead of four. Orange trading for that sheep builds, gets a little sheep access, can take long road pretty soon, so it's going to be between her and white. She takes long road, making herself a target. I don't mind that. Oh, seven. Terrible. So I don't need that much wood, I don't think. I'll keep my weeds. Orange getting dumping a bunch of woods. I'm going to try to block both of these guys. Orange. Really nothing I can do there. Brick. I need a sheep as well. A six rolls. Whew. That's a good roll. <laughs> I'll have to withstand any robbers. So he wants my brick. He probably was looking to get to that three six eleven. Uh, I'm not going to trade him one for one. That's for sure. Another six rolls. Oh my goodness. Good. I'm glad there are no development cards out there. This is what the feast or famine I was talking about. I think the chance of rolling a robber, a robber is six out of 36. So one sixth of the chance of coming up. I think that's about 16 or 17% chance per roll. And so the chance of a robber coming around in a four player game and not being rolled or being rolled is, a, I think it was something like 49%. So basically half. So if you start with more than eight cards, there's a 50% chance the robber will be rolled when it comes back around in four rolls. Or there's a 50% chance that it won't get rolled. So, you know, coin flip. It might not get rolled. And look, I got lucky and it didn't get rolled. Let's see if anybody, nobody has, has sheep. I'm very certain of that. I honestly wasn't paying attention to the rolls. But I don't mind signaling that I don't have sheep either. So let's see, I can't upgrade anymore, so I'm going to convert those to a sheep, giving me the very important 3-1 port, which is going to allow me to buy development cards, which is what I'm going to need to get largest army and move on ahead of these other players. Instead, I got an invention. White going for that brick port. Interesting. That's not where I would have gone. Trading ores for brick. 
Okay, so he's competing for Long Road. I mean, why wouldn't you go for the 3611? It's a better spot. Allows you to connect your two places. I am a little bit confused by that. You know, I would go for this first and then extend that way second. Now you've got everybody's attention. Well, blue goes after orange. I really think he should be blocking orange and white. Okay, so now blue's, yeah, blue's heading towards the wheat port. That makes sense. We'll see if he can get there in time. I think by the time he builds there, you know, we're all going to be at eight points or more, so it's going to be tough. Okay, my roll. Seven. I'm probably going to go after... Maybe I'll go after both of these guys. I'll go after white this time. I think I'm going to play my invention... Do I want to build anywhere? I don't think so. I think what I want to do is buy development cards. And really go for army. Try not to appear like I'm in the lead. That's the problem with Long Road. It's just very clear you're at seven points. When I'm buying a bunch of development cards and I've put down two knights, it's still not clear I'm at seven points. So knights are super strong here, and nobody else is going to be able to buy development cards very easily. So I think this port was super important. And you know, to be honest, white should be using his port too. I don't know. We'll see. I'm at seven cards, so I'm not going to use my knight yet. And eight rolls. Does anybody need brick? I, I think I want... I want a wheat. I'm willing to trade a brick. I bet you blue will take that. Because he wants to get to that port. Otherwise, that would cost him four cards. Go ahead and buy another development card. I can do a road building and really stuff him. <laughs> and build on this uh, wheat port. But I don't think I need to do that. Oh, what makes more sense is to build here. That's really going to be a, a really nice move. Wait, with 13 cards now, upgrade. So now he's at six. If he takes road, he'll be at eight. So he's going to be a huge target. He trades for a brick. He takes road, so he's at eight. Bit great, making himself a big target. People are going to start putting it on the six, though, which I don't like. Four rolls. It's a good roll for me. I need sheep and brick in order to build. Use my road building. Okay, blue's gonna. Okay, so he's being a little greedy, going for the two six. Orange rolls a seven, hurts herself with eleven cards. She's definitely. She should go after white. She should definitely go after white. She'll probably block that six. So I probably am going to put it back. I'll probably put it on this nine. I don't know. Well, she's at six points now. Oof. You know. Sure. Let me just go ahead and go here. Go after white, which is the obvious sort of person to go after. A nine is rolled, giving people wood and sheep. So I need one more knight. I'm still eyeing that road building. To get to that three, six, eleven. Six rolls, so that gives me the wood, the brick I need. That's good. Oh, white with ten cards. I'm going to give him a too far ahead. So now he's got to buy development cards. He gets a boot and a brick. 
it develops. He's at nine points. So I hope Orange can extend. Four rolls, giving White two woods. So he's got two woods in his hand. Blue looking for sheep. He has that. Trades his wheat for sheep. Oh, two bricks for white. So he's going to extend his roads. Not good. He also has a brick port now. So he may just buy a development card and win the game. I may not be able to catch up to him. I could do something tricky, maybe, and take long road. I could get to four with my road building and build five, six. Uh, that only gets me to four, five, six. That only ties him. Ugh. That's unfortunate. The question is, do I play my... No, I'm going to... Because I have road building material. I mean, because I have settlement material. Oh, boy. I guess I'll play my road building. Uh, there's not much I can do to really s stop him. He can upgrade. He can upgrade. Or do I build two two roads. I could build a third road and really keep the game going. I could keep the game going. Maybe that's a smarter play. Keep the game going. Yeah, I think I gotta keep the game going. I just can't let him win, right? Built the seven roads? Sure. So he still has the opportunity to cut me off. So he might head that way. I really took a chance there. Well, he's at eight points. If he takes long road, which is two more roads, he wins. Okay, so that's one of them. He's got one card. This is going to be super tough. Oh my gosh, three roads, two. So he has four road, four woods, two wheats. He's probably going to win. Oh my gosh, he gets four sheep. Game over, unless a seven is rolled on one of these turns. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have much brick. At this point, it's not. It's a little bit moot. Really need a seven to roll. No dice. Let's see if I can do anything. Nobody seems to want to play. Well, if he takes it, then we lose. So, and he can clearly take it. No love there. So he still needs to build two roads now. Oh, there, he's got it. Nice, he's got way too many cards. You know, 
if I could have survived another turn, you know, if I could have played and then played my knight, but just had to st stop the immediate threat. Wow. There he goes. Nine. He won. That's the game. Did my best. So I didn't win this one, but I thought I played okay. Um, I think looking back on it, the main decision that I could have made differently was choosing the 5, 9, 10 instead of this 3, 4, 6. Um, if I had gone the 5, 9, 10, my numbers would have been a little bit more diverse. I, I think I got hit by the robber twice in this game. And partly that was because I duplicated the 4 and the 6. So I'd get a bunch of cards or I'd get no cards. And, uh, you know, that's a recipe for getting hit by the robber. 5, 9, 10 would have mitigated that uh, a little bit. And if I had gone the 5, 9, 10, I definitely would have been cutting off white. I would have been headed towards that 3, 1 port, and with my free road, I probably would have been able to cut him off. You know, and I would also say that I, I felt like in this game, orange and blue didn't do enough to hinder white. Um, and so... You know, I, I really had to change directions instead of building a settlement at the 3611. I had to, you know, just build a bunch of roads just to try to, um, you know, delay the win. If Orange, you know, Orange was sort of just building out to these wood areas for, in my opinion, no great reason. You know, she probably should have, she should have cut off white with her first move. Or she should have head, headed towards the brick port. I think heading towards these 810 woods didn't really do much. And, you know, she attacked me and and not white. Um, so I, I think those little things uh, added together uh, and, and some good rolls, you know, gave white the win. You know, looking back, I probably still would stick to my decision of taking this 346. You know, I had a good lock on army and nobody else was able to buy development cards so that's my thoughts on that um hope you enjoyed watching and please like or subscribe if you want to see more videos thanks guys